Hi there, Doug from Tau Stats. And in this series of videos, we're working through understanding how the BitTensor network works. And one of the most important functions is that all of the active participants of the BitTensor network obtain Tau as part of the rewards mechanism. But how is that distributed amongst everybody inside the network? In this video, we're going to give a high level overview of how the Tau is distributed amongst all the active participants. As you may know, the BitTensor network emits one block every 12 seconds. And when that block is emitted, one tau is created. That means that there's 7,200 tau created every single day. The first step in that distribution of one tau every 12 seconds is to all 32 of the subnets. It's not an even breakdown. It's not one 32nd. It's a distribution based on the value that's been assigned to each of the subnets. Inside each subnet, we have different nodes. The nodes are the validators and the miners. And then you see that little dot above the validator. Validators have people who have delegated tau who have staked tau to the validator. And so I'm showing that as a little dot. Of course, there's not just one little dot. There's a bunch of little dots. There's as many as thousands of delegates per validator. Now in each subnet, there's not just one validator. There's not just one miner. There's generally a sum of 256, you know, a smaller number of validators, more miners. Uh, subnet one does have 1,024, but all of the other subnets have 256 nodes. Each one of those validators is gonna have lots and lots of folks who are delegating. And so you start to see here on this chart over here to the left, that there's a lot of people involved, right? There's uh, across 32 subnets, you know, potentially a thou over 1,000 in each subnet. This gets to be a really big number that has to be divided every 12 seconds. Let's walk through an example of how emission is distributed in every 12 seconds. This is gonna be at a really high level. I can't go into as nitty gritty detail in one video or it would be really, really long, um, but we'll create a series of videos where we hit some of those detailed points um, so we can hit those parts in detail uh, for those who are interested. All right, so the first part is that one tau has to be divided amongst all 32 of the subnets and that's decided by subnet zero, the root subnet. And for the purposes of this video, we've got a pie chart, right? We're gonna break it down. 100% of it gets distributed amongst the subnets and everybody gets a slice of the pie. <clears throat> for our example, I'm gonna say that subnet eight here is 10% and I'm making up that number. And the reason I'm making up that number is one tau every 12 seconds, 10% of that is 0.1 tau in 12 seconds. Uh, we're going to make the math as easy as we can here, right? So now we have that 0.1 tau every 12 seconds, and we have to divide that up amongst all of the people who are involved with the subnet. And the first division that we're going to do is between the subnet owner, the miners, and the validators. The subnet owner gets 18%. 18% 18 of 0.1 is 0 0.18. And then the remaining is split 50-50, I guess 41 to 41 uh, between the miners and the validators. So 0 0.041 to the miners, 0 0.041 to the validators. Now we can break down the miner distribution. So every single miner is given an incentive score and that incentive score is decided by the validators and the Yuma consensus. Um, and that incentive score across all of the miners is gonna add up to one. So you can think of it as a percentage and that makes this math fairly straightforward, right? So if we have an incentive value of 0 0.001, the emission becomes 4.1, right? A bunch of zeros. In the bit tensor metagraph, you'll see a number that is in rau for emission. And rau is one billionth of a tau. And that just means the zeros are on the other side, right? We're just moving the zeros around. Um, because this is a really small number, uh, a rau is a really, really small number. So you have a big emission. Um, if you do this on tau stats, and this is all shows up on tau stat for each subnet, for each miner, you can get the emission. Um, the emission is shown per epoch, and an epoch is 360 blocks. So literally, it's just whatever here is in this column times 360 gives you what you see in tau stats. We do a similar bit of math for all of the validators. The difference with the validators is in addition to 
um, the score that they're given, there's a weighted average based on how much tau has been staked to each of the validators. In here, I'm assuming that they all have the same score. Um, and then I'm just going by the stake. And so you can see if you have a lot of stake, your dividend is higher. So the number that validators are interested in is their dividend. And that adds up to an emission. And so the sum of the emissions has to add up to the entire amount of tau distributed to the validators. However, we're not done with the validators because the validators have folks who have staked tau to them. And so what happens is for each one of the validators, if you see here with validator one, they've got 0 0.010250. That validator has to distribute the tau amongst all of the folks who have delegated tau, who have staked tau to that validator. And so what happens is you again take a weighted average and you break it down by the amount of the percentage of the tau um, that has been staked for each one of the stakeholders. In this case, I've got seven rather than thousands. And of course, that means that it fits much more nicely on the screen here. Um, so we take a weighted average, you get the tau split, and then the validator gets 18% of that. If you sum up the validator column here, column four, that is the amount that the validator receives. And then each stakeholder receives what shows up in column five. Now that's a lot of data and we're covering it at a really high level. We're gonna have detailed videos on how the emission is split up between all the subnets, how it's divided to the miners, and then how it's divided between the validators and the stakeholders in subsequent videos where we can actually get into the meat and maybe show a little bit of the math. But here, it's high level view. It's hard to get down that deep without having a 20 minute long video. So if you're interested in learning and seeing this data, it's all available at TauStats. TauStats is independent of the BitTensor network, but we're community run. We're a group of folks who are highly involved with the BitTensor community, and we're trying to build content that's useful to people who are involved with the community, from all of the charts and the analytics that show up in real time, um, to documentation and some videos like this to help folks better understand the BitTensor network. Thanks for watching the video. Check us out at taustats.io. Join our Discord. Uh, we'd love to have you to be a part of the conversation as well.